Hello guys, myself Hardik Kumbani and in this video I am going to talk about uh, which package we should use to source sensitive data like user, password and etc to in your Android and iOS application. So let's get started without wasting any single second. So here we have uh, ID as a VS code and uh, we will use the emulator as uh, so Android emulator pixel 3a and uh, for the checking the uh, uh, tools we are using the terminal and make sure you have a rooted emulator either you uh, either you have a rooted emulator or either you have a rooted physical device to checking this is uh, checking this problem and now we have to add the two package the first one is flutter secure storage and the second one is shared preference so let's get uh, add this package in your pubspec file and inside the main dot dot I have take the two text field for taking the user input as a username and the password and those detail I'll store into the shared preference as well as in the flutter secure storage. So here you can see I have taken the secure flutter secure storage and the both the data I have put inside the shared preference as well as in the flutter secure storage. So let's run this application in emulator. Please wait for a few seconds. So I'm I'm here entering. Test underscore username. And in the password I am entering test underscore one, two, three, four. And when I press on this button, so it will store those data inside the set preference and the flutter secure storage. So let's press on to it. And now we will check this in the emulator as well as in a terminal to check which package is secured so here uh, first of all if you have uh, your uh, base profile or the Z uh, zsh rcc then you have to uh, uh, put the path inside that so how to set the path so like this you uh, know So here you have to set the uh, path as a Android SDK and the platform tools uh, for accessing the IDB. So make sure you have did this successfully. And now you just have to enter IDB and the cell. When you are fired this command, so at that time, whatever the emulator or the physical device you are using while uh, developing the application, it will show as a, your, man, uh, your main inputs or, or the console. So inside that you have to type uh, ls so whenever you are type ls so at the time there are some of the directory that will show to you but we need to go inside the data and the data so whenever we are go inside the directory so we have still have option of all the application that are actually in emulator so we have to pick our application so for that uh, we are writing com dot example and the signature so this is our application that we are using right now and again, we have to fire the ls command with all the directory. So here you can see there are some of the files that are available, app flutter, cache, code cache, files, and set reference. So whatever we are, we are storing our file in a local uh, local storage, that will be stored over here. And make sure before the testing these tools or and uh, firing this command, uh, make sure your device and the emulator should be rotated device. Otherwise, you cannot able to do these steps. So make sure that your device and emulator uh, should be uh, rooted. And now we are going inside the shared preference folder. Oh, sorry. Okay. And now we are again type ls space shell. And now you can see here. So first of all, we will check this file for the output. 
so for checking the output we are putting this so you can see uh the flutter dot password is test one two three four and flutter dot username is test username so if you are storing the password like this then this is not a secure and this is uh, really critical information uh, that will uh, steal by the hacker so now we will check the flutter secure storage so here first of all we are checking the key file here so you can see here so this is the key this is the key that we have uh, decided and this is the flutter secure storage you will see the all this thing over here so like uh, see this username and the password and with the respected value which we have stored over here like test username and the test one two three four and if we are again press this button then again this value will be changed so let's test it uh, i press it here and now you can see you can see here so if you are using the shared preference then you have to add the different library to encrypt your password and the username but instead if you are using the flutter secure storage then your your, your data will be uh, encrypted automatically by the uh, by, by default code so that is the advantage of flutter secure storage so now it's it's a, it is in your on on your hand that which package you should use to store the sensitive data like username and the password thank you for watching this video and bye bye have a great day